First and foremost, lesson one, mental health. Brene Brown said this once in a, a podcast. What are you unwilling to feel? I think this year I've learned over and over and over and over again, all the stuff I'm unwilling to fear is actually driving my entire life. And so this is often seen as very different from what we do with work or business or designing a website or handling SEO on Squarespace for a project or a client or your website. However, this is something that I think is so, so powerful for us to as, as people to grow in. So as we grow in our own personal mental health, it also reflects in every other area of our lives, even our physical health. I think it, it reflects in how our mental health reflects in how we work, obviously, but it also reflects in, in our, our physical health and our well-being overall. So it's something that I recommend to everyone. There's a quote I have here that I pulled from an article online that said, this is really interesting. And this is pointing to solitude a little bit more than just working on mental health. But, but I do want to say this. For the most part, if people can't use you, they don't want to bother with you. It would be nice if people liked you for you instead of what you have. So solitude, and this is like a quote I just really love. Solitude. Solitude is a state of mind. It's being present with your subconscious mind. Often we look for permission, approval, likes, acceptance from other people first, instead of valuing the opinion of ourselves the most. Let me say that one more time. That's such a good quote. We look for permission, approval, likes, acceptance from other people first instead of valuing the opinion of ourselves the most. And that's one of the things when I'm unwilling to feel something or I have some type of insecurity that I'm looking for validation from someone else. Everything that we are searching for is always within us, but we are always looking on the outside for validation. So this is something that I think is so, so powerful. My process for it is reading books on psychology cognitive psychology, anything around psychology, reading psychology today online, any of their blog posts. I think that's where I pulled this from. And honestly, the most important one is I start the day with journaling every single day. I have videos on how I journal with Notion that you can watch as well. But there's something to journaling, getting stuff out of your mind, almost like going to the gym and working out that is so powerful for mental health. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please like, subscribe and hit that notification bell. And if you're looking for a specific tutorial, please check out our channel. And if you can't find it, let us know in the comments below. What do you need help with to develop your site to make it effective and better for all your users? Finally, sign up for our newsletter. Our newsletter is a great way to stay up to date with anything happening on Squarespace, new features, new tutorials that we post, new features for SEO or updates on SEO, any of that stuff that will help you be more effective. Our newsletter is a great way to stay connected with that as updates come. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.